GNP versus GDP. Okay. What is GNP? Okay, let, let me tell you this. What is GDP first of all? We talked about it yesterday. GDP was the production which is taking place within the country. Right? This is the production which is taking place within the country. What is GNP? Okay, so GNP is, it is the market value of the final goods and services. You know what is market value? We discussed this yesterday. You know what is final goods and services. You also know what is newly produced. By domestic factors of production, domestic factors of production, okay, during the current period. So the only difference is by the domestic factors of production. So this is what you need to know. If there is an Indian who is working abroad and he produces some output and he earns income, so that income will be included in GNP right that income will be included in gnp but it will not be included in gdp is that right there is an indian who is working abroad he earns some income he produces something that that output okay and income are going to be included in gnp but not in gdp the reason is because they do not represent the production gnp that amount okay which he is producing abroad that does not represent the production which is taking place within the india okay within this country within india now there is something which is called the net factor payments from abroad because this is this is the difference between gnp and gdp see n here means your gnp if you look at it the only difference is this is your national right and within GDP this is domestic right the difference between the two is nothing but net factor payments from abroad net factor payments from abroad well net factor payment is the income which you are paying to the domestic factors of production uh, income which the rest of the world is paying to the domestic factors of production less the income which the domestic economy is paying paying to the foreigners right for example indian working abroad he is getting some income from abroad, right? So the, this is the income received, right? This is the income received. And if there is a foreigner who is earning something in India and that is going to be paid by Indian economy, so this is the income which has gone, okay? Which is, these are the payments. So received minus what you have paid. You are receiving okay there is an indian factor of production abroad he is working producing something getting the income okay this is the receipts less there is a foreigner working in india paid by indian economy this is the payment so you have to reduce it so net factor payment is the difference between the two and gdp is nothing but gnp minus nfp okay so domestic is equal to national minus net factor payments is this right so this is the definition of net factor payment this is the income paid to the domestic factors of production by rest of the world minus the income paid to the foreign factors of production by the domestic economy now this was your product method if you look at it let's let's move further into expenditure approach to measuring GDP. <clears throat> expenditure approach to measure GDP. What was your product method? Product method was the sum total of value added. Expenditure method is sum total of all the spending, right? So 
Expenditure method tells you it measures GDP as a total spending on final goods and services produced within a nation during a specified period of time. Produced within a nation, right? Now let's look at it. So basically what it is trying to say of Y, what is Y? Y is, you can say it is GDP, right? Um, but that GDP, it could be referred in terms of what is total production could be measured from product side it could be total income or it could be total expenditure what are your different expenditures i'll talk about this in detail but your different expenditures are consumption. Your means, economy's expenditure are consumption, investment. Some expenditure government is going to make. And some amount of expenditure is going to be made by foreigners on your production. And some amount will be paid by you on, foreigns, on, on foreigners' production. Right. So this is your y equals to c plus i plus g plus nx, which is your net exports. And this guy is called income expenditure identity. Okay. So this is measuring what? This is measuring the entire income. This is measuring, sorry, this is measuring the entire expenditure, right? From all the sources. So this is your income expenditure identity. Well, this guy is your income, this is your expenditure. Expenditure from different sources, from consumption, investment, government, net exports, and so on and so forth. Let's pick up all of them one by one. Okay, now let's look at the consumption first. What is consumption? Consumption is spending by households. Spending by households. This is what your, in fact, I should write domestic households. I'm sorry for a bad handwriting, but For domestic by domestic households on what on final goods and services right and it also includes it also includes um, those which are produced abroad. Right? So consumption is spending by domestic households on final goods and services plus those which are produced abroad. Uh, you might say the government is also consuming something, but right now, I mean, by consumption, we mean that only domestic households, what they are spending on the final goods and services, and they might also um, consume something which are being produced abroad, right? And consumption is under three categories, right? Let me just write it for you. One is a consumer durables. consumer durables which have which have a long life okay so like for example refrigerator tvs um, nowadays mm, cell phone no um, they might have a long life but but generally we guys tend to change our cell phones too fast um okay well, let's say iphone 6 or something you might at least use it for two three years hopefully um then you'll have uh, non-durable goods 